Cause I've been sleeping with a pistol in my bed I'd rather have you here instead I gotta get out of my own head Don't let me down, come here right now What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. I'm obsessed with how it turned out, you guys. Seriously, I... I don't know. I actually started off the tutorial mainly centering it around this color right here, like that Tiffany blue kind of shade that I have going on and then everything else just kind of fell into place so it all started with that one color and it turned into this and I am obsessed. This tutorial has actually been a crazy mission for me to film because I haven't filmed a makeup tutorial for a couple of weeks and in YouTube time that's a long time to not sit down and film. I feel like I've been kind of like uninspired lately but today I just woke up and I really wanted to play with some color so I'm really glad that I was able to come up with this look I can't stop looking at it in the monitor because it's just so like bam and it's unlike anything that I would typically do you guys know that I'm so into like the neutral basic bitch kind of makeup looks which I mean I love those don't get me wrong but it's fun to play around with color and I feel like I've gotten that back where I'm like excited and inspired to play with color again. Before I get into the tutorial, I just wanna give one of you guys a quick shout out. So, shout out to, I'm gonna leave your comment right here. I'm pretty sure your username is Queen Nini, Queen Nene. I apologize if I'm wrong, but you are always first to comment on most of my videos. And I just wanna give you a shout out, show my love and appreciation for that, because it really does mean a lot. If you do wanna be featured in my next shout out, be sure to leave me a comment down below. With that being said, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down down below and with that being said let's get into it alrighty guys I have already prepped and primed my skin prior to filming so I'm going to be going in with foundation first this is the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation you guys know that this is my current go-to the shade that I use is M1 Punjab and I'm using the Sigma F80 flat top kabuki brush to apply that to my face All right, so foundation is on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do some color correcting and conceal. First up, I'm taking the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector and I'm just using the Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush to apply that product to the under eye area. This is really going to help counteract the darkness that I have going on there and kind of brighten up the face a little. Next, I'm gonna be going in with concealer. Today I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one is in the shade Light Medium Honey. As you can see, I'm just dotting that under my my eyes as well as taking it down the bridge of my nose above my brows and a teensy bit on my chin and once again I'm using a models prefer airbrush concealer brush to blend that concealer out so now that the concealer is on I'm gonna go ahead and set it today I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder and I'm just gonna be taking that with a Sigma tapered highlighter brush to pat those over all the areas where I just applied the concealer I almost forgot that I have to set the other areas of my face as well. So today I'm using the MAC Studio Care Blend Powder. This one is in the shade Medium Dark. And I'm just using the Sigma F30 Large Powder Brush to pat that over all the other areas of my face that I have not yet set. Moving on to the eyes now, you guys are now up close and personal so you can see what I'm doing. I'm firstly gonna start things off by priming the lids, which is very important to do. So today I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone. Just applying that all over my lids right up to the brow with the Zoeva 142 concealer buffer brush. And then I am of course going to go ahead and set that in place with some translucent setting powder. So for this look today I am going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna start things off. I don't know the names off by 
hot, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm just gonna point out the shades as I use them. But I'm gonna be taking this shade right up top here. This is going to act as my initial transition shade and I'm using the Zaweva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush to apply that to my crease. So I'm just running that back and forth, buffing it and blending it as I go, making sure that it's nice and blended and blown out. While I'm here, I am going to go ahead and take that shade along my bottom lash line as well, just really smoking it out and blending it in the process. All right, so that shadow is nicely blended in those areas. Now I'm going to be taking this one right here. It's like a really nice burnt orange, like dark sienna type of shade. That's like the vibe that I get from it. So I'm gonna be taking that on the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. Once again, just running that through my crease blending and buffing it as I go, but not blending it out as far as I did with that first shade. So now for the outer corners of my eyes, I'm firstly going to go into this shade right here. It's like a deep matte maroon red type of shade. And I'm taking that on the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. And like I said, I am going to be applying this to the outer corners of my eyes and dragging it in towards the center of the eye in the process. And then at this point, since the color is laid down and somewhat blended into the areas that I want it to be, um, I just go back in with the previous brushes that I used to blend at the top edge so everything is nice and seamless. Don't be afraid as well to like add more color if you feel like it's been taken away. So I'm just adding more of that um, second crease shade that I used right to the crease because I feel like I kind of buffed it away too much as I was blending everything together, which is a good thing because I feel like it is a lot easier to add more when you feel like you need it as opposed to trying to get rid of color when you've applied too much. But again, if you are going to be adding like any extra color, you do want to make sure that you blend it through properly so everything stays seamless. I'm actually going to go ahead and add a teeny bit of this dark. Is it a black? I feel like it is a black one on camera. It looks kind of like a slate kind of color, but I'm going to be taking this shade right here. On the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer, and I'm going to take the slightest bit of that to add it to the outer corner of my eye to really help define that area even more. I might have dipped a little heavy-handedly into that shadow um, as I was applying it to my eye, so I probably did add a little more than I wanted to, but that's okay. It's all about blending, so I just like to blend at it as much as I can and then go back in with the previous brush that I used to apply that maroon shade that's underneath. I just use that to kind of mix the two and blend. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and of course match it up and do the other eye. Lesson learned from doing the first eye is to not be so heavy handed when dipping into that dark shadow because it does pack a punch. So now that I'm happy with how all the shadows are looking on my lids, I am going to go ahead and do a semi-cut crease today. So I'm going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this brush right here, the Sigma F70 Concealer Brush, and I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. So I like to get the brush nice and coated in the concealer and then start from the very inner corner and then work my way up towards the crease where I want the actual cut to be. Also, if you're not entirely sure where the cut is going to end up. The easiest way to do this is to apply the concealer to your lids and then pretty much just look forward and that will give you a template as to where the natural cut of the crease should be. And then once you have that down, it's pretty easy. You just have to pretty much color in between the lines. I also like to take my ring finger and use that to blend at the very outer edge of the concealer leading into the outer corner of the eye, just because I feel like it gives a nicer finish as opposed to just leaving it as a straight edge. Okay, I think that actually looks really cool. Like I would totally just leave it like that if it didn't look so unblended and like unfinished. But, um, Next, next up, we are going to be taking this shade right down the bottom here of the palette. It's like a matte Tiffany blue kind of shade. I'm using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader with that shadow. I'm applying it to the area that I have just cut the crease with. So I'm almost setting that concealer in place with this eyeshadow. Okay, so I realized this looks really crazy and like messy at the moment, but that's okay because that shade that I just applied was really just going to be like 
a base color for the next shade that I want to put on top. So I'm going to be taking the shadow that's next to it, which is essentially very similar in color, but it's like got more of like a shimmery finish to it and it has a bit of a gold undertone. So I feel like that's going to look really nice with all of these matte shades that I have going on. So I'm just going to be taking that on the brush once again and pretty much applying that over the shadow that I just applied. And the reason why I applied that matte shadow first as opposed to going straight in with this shimmery shadow is because I wanted this shadow to be really intense and I felt like with the matte shade as a base, it was really going to help it pop. Alrighty, so as you can see, that really did make a big difference applying that shimmery shadow over top. It just makes it like boom. So next up, I'm going to be taking this shadow from the palette. It's like a royal blue, shimmery royal blue shade, which I love. And I'm just taking that on a Sigma E55 eye shading brush. I'm going to go ahead and apply this kind of on the center of the lid. This is going to somewhat lead off into the transition of the dark shades that I have already applied to the outer third of my lid, which I will be kind of fixing up because as you can see, they have lost their intensity as I've applied the other shadows, but I really just wanted to apply them first so that they could act as a guide. Honestly though, this looks like some Sunset Lagoon type of thing. I'm not even done with it yet, but I'm already obsessed. I'm also going to take some of that purple shade as well. This is like very last minute. I hadn't intended to add the purple to it, but I just feel like, I just feel like it would look all right if I just added just a teensy little bit of purple to the outer portion. So at this point, all of the shadows are on the lids. Now I'm going to go in and blend. Really, I'm just concentrating my blending on the outer corner of the eyes because I want this to remain really cut, but I wanted this to be a little more blended. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I feel like this part of the process always gets like cut out just because like blending, you guys know that you have to blend, but I cut so much of it out because it just would make the video so long. But I think I need to remind you that if you feel like your look doesn't look the way it's supposed to look, probably just means that you need to blend some more, like add some more color, blend if need be, which I mean, you can never blend too much because even if you do blend away too much, you can always add more, like it's a whole process. So now that I'm happy with how everything is looking, I am going to finish off the eyes by putting some shadow along the bottom lash line because I almost forgot. So I'm gonna go into the shimmery shade that I applied over the lids and I'm taking that on the Sigma E30 pencil brush. Essentially, I'm just going to run this along the bottom lash line, starting from the inner corner and pulling it right towards the middle center of that area. I don't usually copy like what's going on on the lid and put it on my bottom lash line. I usually copy what's going on in the crease and put it on my bottom lash line. So I don't really know if I'm like feeling this right now. So let me just take some of this shade. I'm switching it up real quick. I'm going to go into the matte maroon shade that I applied into the crease earlier and I'm just going to connect that up to the shadow that I just applied. All right, so I know that's looking a little bit intense right now, so I'm gonna take some of this shadow that I initially applied to my eye in the very beginning, and I'm just taking that on a Sigma E70 medium angled shading brush, and I'm going to use that to just buff out at that bottom lash line so it doesn't look so stark and like harsh. Alrighty, so I think I much prefer how that looks now. Last but not least, in terms of shadows, I need to add something to the inner corners of my eyes. So for that, I think I'm going to take this shadow right here, second from the end. I'm using the Zaweva 238 Luxe Precise Shader. Just gonna take it on that brush and apply it to the inner corner. Alrighty, so I am done with shadows at this point. Now I'm going to go ahead and give my lashes a quick curl and apply some mascara. Today I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. I actually picked this up recently and I've been obsessed. I know so many people love this mascara and I don't know why I didn't pick it up sooner. 
because it's actually amazing for a drugstore mascara. So of course you guys already know that I am going to be applying falsies for this look but I don't want anything that's going to overpower and cover up all the work that I've done on my lids. So I'm going to be going in with these babies today. These are from House of Lashes in the style boudoir but it is their light version so it's a little less intense and dramatic than the original version, which I was keen to try. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply these and I'm using my favorite lash adhesive ever. I'm so glad that I finally was able to restock on some again. It's the House of Lashes Lash Adhesive and I'm telling you guys, if you don't want your lashes to move, which I'm sure you all don't, um, you need to pick this up. So now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. I'm gonna start off by contouring. Today I'm using the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. And I think I wanna take this shade right here. So I'm taking that on the Models Prefer Contour Brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my jaw and cheeks with that and also use an eyeshadow brush to contour my nose just a little. So for bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm just taking that on the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush and I'm going to go ahead and run that over my cheeks as well as around my temples and hairline just to add some color back into my face. Now for blush, I'm gonna be using this one from Tarte. This is one of their Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes in the shade Captivating. As you can see, it is a very peachy blush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this quite sparingly to the apples of my cheeks, pulling it back towards my hairline. I don't want the blush to be too crazy for this look. And then for highlighter today, I'm gonna be taking this one. This is Ofra's Blissful Highlighter. Oh my goodness, can we just like take a moment? Look at that. Look at it. So I'm taking that on the Anastasia A23 Highlighter Brush. And I'm just going to apply that to all the usual places that I like to highlight. So the tops of my cheekbones, as well as a little bit on my nose and on my cupid's bow. Now for the lips, I am firstly going to line them with the Rimmel Lip Liner in Tiramisu. This is like a rustic orange nude kind of color. That's how I describe it. Now for my lipstick, I'm gonna be using this one from MAC in the shade Peach Stock. It is obviously as the name suggests, a peachy color, which I feel like is really gonna tie in with the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. And then I'm just gonna spritz my face with some of the Mario Badescu facial spray to finish it off. And then that is pretty much everything done. There we have it, you guys. This is the completed look. I really like how it turned out. It turned out better than I expected, to be honest. But I want you to comment down below and let me know what you think. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe subscribe to my channel if you're still here at the end watching and you are not yet subscribed you know what to do hit the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post as always I will leave a full list of everything that I used throughout this tutorial down in the description box below where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts so if you guys want to keep up with me on Twitter Instagram Facebook or snapchat all that good stuff is down below and with that being said I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will see you all in my next video. I could be wrong, but I feel like something.